So the purpose of this video is to help those of you that are having a hard time logging into the new website. Maybe you've noticed uh, that, that we've officially made the transition from our old website to the new one. And so I want to help uh, in walking you through how to log in initially, how to change your password, edit your profile picture. Uh, and then for you men, we'll talk through some beginning stages of uh, you know parts of our worship that you can add or edit to help in our duty roster. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to see is that you know you can access the website uh, through the same way in the, in the same place. And uh, upon pulling it up, it should look something similar to this. Right now I'm on an iPad so that I can screen record this. It may look a little bit different on your um, you know, desktop or laptop, whatever it is you're using. Um, and so upon going here, you're going you're gonna to go up here to the member login. And once you do that, you're going to see email or username and a password to be typed in. Um, so for this video's purpose, I'm going to use uh, Wayne Yancey. And I'm going to drop down here in the password for everyone as Kaylee posted a couple weeks ago through Facebook and was emailed out will be a capital C for Central and 4200. And I'll give you a peek at the password there, Central 4200. And you're going to want to make sure that on this drop down here uh, that you're logging in or attempting to log into the member area. If you're logging into admin area, it's not going to give you access and it's not going to work. So make sure you have member area selected and you're going to click log in. And once you log in, it'll look something similar to this, depending on what you're using. And the first place that you're going to want to go is up here where you see the smiley face and your name. And you're going to click profile. And so once you click that profile, you're going to see all of your information uh, pulled up that we were able to transition from the old website. And so you can go through that and, and change it a little bit. Uh, for instance, I know that my dad was not born in 2022, uh, but in 1950. Um, so I can change that, and there's a uh, save button down here at the bottom. But what you're also going to want to do on this page, should you want to change your password, uh, is that possibility down at the bottom to change your password. And so your current password would be the central 4200. And down at the bottom, you can type in whatever password that you want. And it's going to ask you to type it in twice. And then to go down here and hit save uh, to save those changes. Uh, once you do that, uh, might be beneficial for us if you go to the member directory or maybe, maybe you have already. You'll notice that the member directory is a little bit different than what we're coming from and that we were able to upload just a, a family picture. And these are a lot more individual by nature. And so what you're gonna wanna do uh, so that we can kind of see who people are, uh, especially if you're, if you're new, um, is go back to the top where your name and the smiley face is and click back to your profile and go to profile picture. And what you can do here, if you're, if you're on an iPad or an iPhone and you're doing this right now, if you uh, click to upload, it'll give you the possibility to you know, take a photo of yourself or, or go to your photo library. Maybe there's a, a picture that you've taken before that you can upload into this box and it'll, it'll show that change um, happen. Uh, the last part that you know, I'll talk through real quick just in the beginning stages of of you know transitioning to this new website is over here under volunteering uh, this is where you will be able to ultimately access men the duty roster or men and women greeters and and um, and stuff like that and so one of the things that you're able to do now so that we don't have to do it by way of paper is under scheduling preferences uh, you can go through 
and decide, you know, hey, this is something I want to do um, as often as needed. I can click, yeah, I'll, I'll lead the opening prayer, um, you know, one time a month or, you know, three times a month or w whatever it is. You can kind of set your preferences uh, so that we can schedule around your preferences. You can also go through uh, and, and click the unavailability. For instance, if you know you're going to be out of town or you're going to be on vacation, uh, this feature will allow you the opportunity to go ahead and plug that in ahead of time so that you aren't scheduled uh, to lead to, you know, lead prayer or Lord's Supper or, you know, whatever all of our duties are, we'll know ahead of time and um, not have to do that at the last minute. So hopefully uh, that's a pretty good look at the, at the beginning features of what we want to share with you, most especially logging in and getting things set up. Uh, just, you know, anything that you need to do initially is going to come from this top right corner and under the profile feature. Uh, so if you want to go ahead and start with that, if you run into any issues, um, you know, you can, you can talk to me, Jed, and, uh, uh, we can talk here at church and I can walk you through it. We can set up a time to go through it, um, and all those things. So also going to upload, a uh, another video separate and apart from doing it online, uh, is how do I do it on my phone? Um, how do I do it through the app? And so I'll show you what that looks like as well here in just a second. So in the same way that we just looked at doing it, um, doing it online, um, this right here is through the app. So you can see this, this should be all the features that we've talked to you guys uh, about and talked you through in a previous video uh, where you can, you know, look at your home screen, uh, the news feed, and there's a spot down here at the bottom that is log in. Uh, so in much the same way that you would do it online, you can do it through the app. And so my username, again, using Wayne Yancey, uh, for you, it would be your first and last name. And then the password, um, as I shared with you before, is Central 4200 upon your initial login. You're going to want to make sure again that you're logging into the member area. And when you log in from your phone and through the app, it's going to look like this. And instead of your name being in the top right, you're going to see the little smiley face in the top right. You can click that, go to profile, and it looks a little bit different. But you can still do all the same things. You'll see down here at the bottom, again, you can change your password if you want to or you can um, change any information that may be inaccurate on there. Um, by way of changing your picture on this one, you're just gonna tap the smiley face and it'll give you that same option to, you know, to change, to take a photo, to use your photo library, uh, what have you. And upon doing that, your profile picture will then change and show up on that member directory. In the same way, uh, we just talked through some some added features for uh, in our duty roster. You, you have the unavailability calendar, which is still here uh, for any time that, that you might be out of town or you know you aren't going to be here in advance. Uh, volunteering, so I can go to the, my scheduling preferences and some of those same things uh, show up. So anything you can do on the computer, you can still do through the app and on your phone uh, should you want to do that. So again, hopefully this helps. And I know I just said it, but I'll say it again. If you need some help or uh, something's still not working out for you, maybe you've changed your password already and you've been through this, but you can't remember your password, I can help you out with that as well. So just give me a call or See me at church, shoot me an email, whatever you need to do.